It's how's it going, Daniel here, and today I want to talk to you guys about a new keyboard that just arrived to the Play Store on Android called Slash. Yeah, called Slash. Um, so Slash has been out on iOS uh, since last year, I'm pretty sure. Because um, uh, I remember downloading it when I was on the iPhone and then switched back to Android, and I really enjoyed using Slash on iOS. Um, and now it has finally arrived to Android. So you're probably wondering what's different about uh, um, Slash on iOS and on Android. So first off, the big difference is that you can create your own Slash. So a Slash is some a shortcut that you create just using the keyboard. Um, so you, when when you open the app, of course, you have the uh, you have the option to go all the way to the bottom and create your custom Slash which I haven't done yet, but it's really useful once you know how to use it and um, and which slashes you want to create. So there, there are already some custom ones that come already with it. So there's like the Amazon one where you can search for books on Amazon, you could search for music on Apple Music, um, you could search on Product Hunt, um, you could search for a song on Spotify. So all these are pretty awesome stuff. These sh these uh, uh, short slash shortcuts, um, but also there's a difference in, I in the iOS and Android, of course, uh, keyboard settings. So when you go on here on the on the settings, you go to theme. You can change it to material light, dark, hollow white, or hollow blue. I left it to material dark. That's the like that's the one I like, um, and then of course. Uh, you, there's more stuff in this in in this settings. Um, so how this works? Um, so usually this works good when you're messaging a friend or something, um, and uh, you want to uh, share stuff like um, w where to go for dinner, let's say, and you could to use you could open slash open Foursquare on slash and then start. To searching for um, uh, good places to eat and then it will send it to your friend as a message. So it's really awesome, it's really different too. Uh, and it's one of my favorite keyboards when I was on iOS. Um, and uh, the developer did say that there's gonna be some big update in 10 days. So I might do another video in 10 days uh, to see if it's really a good update or not. And if it is, then I will do a video. But if it's not, then I will not do a video about it. So that's it for now guys, um, it is a free download, this keyboard, um, if you want to do a lot of stuff on the keyboard and not just uh, have to open a lot of apps, just do one thing, um, I recommend you do a download slash. And like I said, I'll see you guys later. Peace.